Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I've been doing my current favorite no makeup makeup, super quick look when I don't really want to do anything too crazy to my face but I also don't wanna not be wearing anything. It is so natural but it still makes you feel like you're like put together, which I really love and I hope you guys are gonna like it. It's so quick, it's so easy and I'm going to be using the new Fenty Eavesdrop Foundation for this no makeup makeup look because this is truly the most perfect your skin but better foundation. I'll get into it, but you guys, this stuff is like the epitome of no makeup makeup foundation. And this video, I honestly cannot even believe that I'm saying this because it's seriously such an honor, but it is in partnership with Fenty, which is so, cool like i can't even wrap my head around it when they reached out saying that they wanted to work with me on the eavesdrop skin tint i was so excited and i tried it out i completely fell in love with it and i was like hell yeah fenty let's work together so without further ado let's get right into it so i am first going to start off with a little bit of skin prep you guys know no matter what i'm doing with my makeup whether it's a super light makeup day or a super heavy makeup day my makeup prep is always going to be the most important step so i'm going to first prep my lips because my lips have been so dry lately i don't know if it's the change of weather or what's going on but they've been like perpetually chapped which has been super annoying but this has been really great for them it is the new laneige lip treatment balm this thing is very cute you have a little applicator that comes out of the cap and i really like that because that means i don't have to like dip my finger into the product which isn't the most sanitary thing in the world and it's a silicone applicator you just go in to, to the product and apply it like this it's obviously a treatment product and it's supposed to make your lips you know more hydrated but it also makes your lips look really nice it does have this nice pearlescent finish. So it gives your lips a really nice shine. So next I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer. This is my Fenty Skin Hydrovisor with SPF 30. So this is basically a two-in-one. It's a moisturizer, it has SPF in it as well. So I'm gonna do three pumps. Put it all over the skin. So now it's time to apply the foundation. So on my no makeup makeup days, I do prefer foundations that are super lightweight. I really don't mind if I have, you know, some skin texture showing through, some redness showing through. That's really not the point of my no makeup makeup days. It's kind of supposed to look like I'm, I'm not wearing, but I'm kind of wearing makeup. So I have been, like I said, using an completely 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 obsessed with the eavesdrop foundation from fenty i have never tried a foundation that is anything like this um you know when people say oh yeah this foundation gives a skin like finish i've said that before a million times and i feel like i didn't know what a skin like finish was when it came to a foundation until actually trying this beauty over here. This stuff completely looks, and not only looks, but it feels like skin. The very first time that I wore this, I honestly completely forgot that I was even wearing foundation in the first place. And I remember like touching my face and just like feeling it. And it felt completely dry in the sense that it didn't feel like I was wearing product. Um, but then I looked in the mirror and I was like, wait a second you're wearing makeup <laughs> and it looks really good. Besides that, this is called a blurring skin tint. So this does give the skin a really nice blurred effect. Um, and it really just makes it look like you kind of have somewhat of a smoothing filter on your face. It's one of those foundations that just gives your skin that beautiful kind of poreless effect. So let's put it on the face and I'll show you guys what I mean by all of this. You can apply this with your fingers. You can apply it with a sponge, with a brush. I do prefer personally to apply it with a brush just because I find it's a little bit quicker. It does work really great with fingers as well. It's just not my personal preference. Here's what the foundation looks like. It is pretty liquidy. And I'm gonna zoom you guys in really close so you could really see what's going on. I also made sure to film this in natural light so that you could see a full-on representation of my skin because obviously I, do, I never use blurring filters on my videos, but studio lights do inherently give the skin a little bit more of a flawless look. It's just kind of what they do. So I wanted to film it in natural light today just so you guys could really see what everything looks like. So you see that color match, how it just like disappeared into my skin? And that is what you want, my friends. So here's what the foundation looks like on the skin. If you're wondering the coverage level with this stuff, I would say you can get away with probably about a medium coverage if you do build this up, but this is a skin tint. So keep that in mind, it is more of a light coverage foundation, but it still completely like got rid of all of my redness very easily. I didn't have to build it up at all. I would also say that you definitely don't need powder with this product, which I'm sure is music to a lot of my 
dry skin peoples out there because this stuff really sets down and it also lasts really well just on its own. So as far as my base goes, that's it. I'm actually not going to put concealer on, which is a very new thing for me. And that's another reason why I was really excited to do this no makeup makeup look because I wanted to show you guys a look without concealer. I mean, I'm not like incredibly well rested. I do definitely have some darkness underneath my eyes, but I actually just don't mind it. Like I don't mind that you see a little bit of purple and red underneath my eyes. I kind of feel like it's it's kind of a hot look I don't know maybe it's just me <laughs> so lately I have been doing full-on foundation and kind of just sweeping just a little bit of the excess foundation that's on my foundation brush like right at the end of the application underneath my eyes like this and that's all I've been doing like I have not been applying concealer and it's just been really nice and I feel like this really does go with the no makeup makeup look it does make it look a little bit more like you're not really wearing makeup because your under eyes will have that natural shadowing going on which is totally normal so again this is very new for me and i don't know how long i'm going to be going without wearing concealer on my no makeup makeup days but for now i've been really enjoying it so we're just gonna go with it so the next step in the routine is bronzer this is a perfect product for a no makeup makeup day because it's the setting powder from kostas it's the cloud set in softly and i tried this in my full face of kostas video and i really really liked it what i really like about this is i feel like it gives me the the effect that this cloud set powder gives me, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of. It really smooths the skin. It's very flattering. It looks really soft and natural, but obviously in a bronzer shade for my skin tone. That formula with this shade just looks really, really natural on the skin. So again, it's really perfect for just a really simple, natural makeup look. That being said, <laughs> I'm gonna take it on my Katie Jane Hughes and Spectrum number 01 brush, pick up a little bit of it. And I actually didn't even notice until I brought this in the sunlight, but it has a little bit of a shimmer to it, which actually works really, really well in a bronzer. Okay, so I'm just going to apply this on my cheekbone, on my temples, forehead, you know, the, the usual places where I would typically bronze. Because this is supposed to be a super soft makeup look, I don't really want a bronzer or really anything on my face to look really prominent or stand out too much. I want everything to just blend into the skin really nicely and you see how this powder just doesn't even look like i'm really wearing it but yet it's there that's exactly what i want i'm putting some more of the bronzer on the sides of my nose and on the bridge of my nose just to kind of give a nice sun-kissed look and i'm also bringing it more on my cheeks than i normally would and also a little bit on my eyelids too since i'm not really wearing any eyeshadow today because i'm not wearing concealer today i think it's actually even more important for me to put just a little bit more bronzer on my face even if it's more on the natural side just to kind of add that nice warmth to the skin just to kind of liven up my face a little bit because obviously when i go concealer free it can make me sometimes look a little bit more tired so by adding in that like sun-kissed look to the skin it kind of works against that so now for the blush this is definitely a little bit more of like an extra process because i am using two cream blushes but i'm telling you it makes such a big difference i actually tried this for the first time on instagram live and i was obsessed with the way that it looked it was so so pretty and just gave a really nice fresh and dimensional look to the cheeks and because i'm wearing such minimal makeup everywhere else and especially really no makeup on the eyes i want something on my face to kind of stand out and that something is going to be the cheeks so the two blushes that i'm going to be using today one is basically going to contour my cheeks in a way and the other one is going to add just a pop of color so they're both from tower 28 and they're both the beach please cream blushes i have power hour which is this deeper kind of mauvey brown shade it's super pretty and then i have rush hour which is this really nice peach shade. So I'm going to go in first with the darker shade Power Hour, and I'm just gonna use it on this brush. This is the Spectrum and Katie Jane Hughes 05 brush. You can also use your fingers with these, but I just find it's a little bit quicker when I am using a brush, I'm just able to diffuse it a little bit better. And I'm applying this really just on the cheekbone area. So I'm actually avoiding the apple of my cheek, and this is really meant to sculpt the cheek so you see the difference between this side and this side kind of just lifts the face a little bit and i'm actually going to take whatever's left over my brush and again just kind of sweep it over my eyelids maybe a little bit across the bridge of my nose just to add a little bit of color there it just gives a little bit more of a natural effect when you do disperse your blush color around your face because when you do naturally blush you don't just blush on your cheeks you do blush on other areas of your face so 
adding a little bit of color doesn't hurt. Okay, now going into Rush Hour, which is the peachy shade. And I'm just gonna put this right on the apples of the cheeks and just blend it into the other color. And you see how it, it almost kind of gives a little bit of a gradient effect from like light to dark, but I just really love the dimension that the two blush colors give. Super pretty. I wouldn't really say that like this blush look is really natural looking or goes with a no makeup makeup look. With a no makeup makeup look, I probably do very minimal blush, but it needs a nice blushy look to just kind of give it some life. So now for my highlighter, even though I don't really need it because the cream blush did give a really nice glow to the cheeks, I'm still gonna add some just because why not? I've been really loving the MAC Cream Color Base in Pearl. I feel like this is such an OG product. Um, I just got a fresh one here, so I've been using it a ton. It just gives such a beautiful glossy effect to the cheeks, not really any color for my skin tone. And I'm using it with my finger. I'm just gonna pinpoint it right on the tops of my cheekbones. And you see how it just adds that like brightness. And I feel like even though we have glow already going on, this just adds such a difference. Like look at this cheek compared to this cheek, still glowy but this definitely has more impact. And it's still so natural looking because it doesn't have any color to it. it doesn't have like a metallic sheen or anything. It looks really, really natural. It's just super glossy. And I'm also gonna put a little bit of it on my brow bone and on the very bridge of my nose and the tip, just for fun. Can't really forget about brows. I am just gonna put in a brow gel though to keep it really nice and simple. This is the Kosas Air Brow in Dark Brown. It's a volumizing tinted brow gel, so it will give a little bit of shape and even a little bit of volume to my brows, but it's not gonna make them look like overly filled in. I'm just brushing all the brow hairs up. The very last step to the look is obviously the lips. You can do whatever you want with a look like this. Literally any lip color will go with this, but because we are sticking with more of a no makeup makeup look, wanna keep it really nice and natural, I'm just gonna go with a lip balm. So this is the Kopari Lip Glossy Lip Balm in Watermelon. This is just a really simple lip balm. It has a nice, really subtle um, pink tint to it. So we'll add a little bit of color, but nothing too crazy. So that's it for the finished look. I'm actually not even gonna put mascara on my eyes today. You totally can though, and I have worn this look with mascara and without, but I actually just really like the way it looks without mascara. I think it's really pretty, and especially because we aren't wearing concealer, I feel like it just, it goes really nicely. All right guys, that is it for the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed seeing this no makeup makeup look. Don't forget to let me know in the comments your thoughts on any of the products that I used today. And don't forget to also send me a photo if you end up recreating this. I would love to see it. You can just DM me on Instagram at Jamie Page Beauty or you can tag me in a post. Hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy today's video and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.